Hello everyone, we will continue the topic types of internal tables and in the previous video we started with hashed internal table. We discussed yes, it is not a index based internal table. It is totally based upon the unique key concept. Non-unique key is not applicable. We should always, always go for unique key. And it is totally based upon hash algorithm. And we discussed what is hashing. Hashing is a technique which will directly return the address of the record. It is never, never using index. So hash is never, never a index based internal table. Now we will move on to next point. We covered the first two point where we discussed how to declare the internal table and they are not the index based internal table. Now I will come on to third point. Records can be inserted. If you remember, in case of standard internal table, we can use insert or append anything you can use to insert that data to standard internal table. Both will fulfill the same purpose. In case of sorted internal table, it is mandatory you should use insert only because if you will use append, and if your data is not getting in the sorted order, you will get a runtime error. In case of hashed internal table also, we should use insert to insert the records to the hashed internal table. In case of hash internal table, the best part is if you will use append, system will give the syntax error itself. Suppose I will show you. If I will go to the system, suppose I will try to insert a record to hash internal table using append statement. So firstly, I will show you append. So I passed order number one and I passed payment mode C. Suppose I'm writing append work area to internal table. And I will clear the work area. If I will check the syntax, now you can see I'm clearly, clearly getting a error. So I can never, never use append to insert the data to hashed internal table. So I will use insert. So I will write insert work area into, and now I need to use table into table internal table. So first record inserted, suppose I will insert rest of the records also. I will go for suppose order number two. I will go for order number three. We declared based upon unique key. It means we need to pass the unique order number, unique key order number. I will go for order number three. I will go for order number four. I will go for order number five. Now we will apply a loop and display the data. I will copy the loop statement. This is our loop statement. So I am displaying the data. I will check the syntax and I will activate. Now for the best understanding, I will show you in the debugging mode 
and then we will cover rest of the part also. I will go to desktop three. I will double click on the internal table and it is clearly saying it is our hashed internal table. It is clearly mentioned hash internal table. Internal table has zero records. So first record inserted, we are able to see the first record. We are able to go for second record is there. Now third record is there. Now fourth record and now we have fifth record in the internal table. So we have five records in the hashed internal table. Now maximum people ask at this point of time. Just now you told it is not an index based internal table. But we are able to see the record number. It is just a record number. Yes, what is the record number? But index has no role in case of hashed internal table. Whenever I will proceed, I will show you, we will get an error. See, SAP has a common structure for the internal table. Standard, sorted, hashed. So do not think that, yes, we are able to see the raw number. So it is also an index-based internal table. No. It is never, never a index-based internal table. We can never search a record based upon index. Whenever topic will proceed, I will show you the error also. Whenever we will try to read on the index. We can always, always search based upon key. Now we have five records and we are displaying the five records. Now. Now we told order number is the unique key, unique. Suppose if I will try to go for duplicate order number. Suppose I am going for one more record of the order number. You told order number is unique, but I am going for one more record of the order number. I will check the syntax and activate. I will run in the debugging mode. I'll show you. I'll go to desktop 3. I'll just do F6, F6. This is our internal table. F6, F6, F6. We have first record in the hashed internal table. Now we are inserting one more record for order number 1. But we told order number is unique. So if I will go again, have you seen the number of records remain one only? So it will not go for duplicate records at all because we told order number is unique. Yes. And in case of hashed internal table, your key is always, always unique. In case of sorted, you can go for unique, non-unique key both. In case of standard, Anyways, there is no concept of unique and non-unique key. But in case of your hashed internal table, only, only unique key, unique key. And we discussed also why unique key. If unique key will not be there, system will confuse. In the previous video, we discussed if we have non-unique key and whenever hashing will apply, hashing will confuse. Where is the address of order number one? Yes. So we should always, always go for unique key. Unique. So we should always, always take a unique. Key. This is right. Now I will simply, simply go for execute. And you can see the number of records remain five only. We inserted duplicate record with the key. But system has not accepted that particular thing. Now we will move on to next point. Next point is extremely important from the interview perspective also. If someone asks, has sort has any impact on the performance of hashed internal table? Just to understand that point, this firstly come on to standard and sorted. In case of standard internal table, it works on linear search. 
but you can improve the performance by sort and then you can after sort you can go for binary search in case of binary search it will search in the upper half and lower or lower half performance will improve in case of standard internal table that's why we are going for sorting in case of sorted internal table everything is in sorted order data is always in sorted order and it works on binary search okay done now we will come on to hash internal table just think in case of hash internal table is there any impact on the performance if you will sort no not at all because it does not work on linear search it does not work on binary search sort will never never impact the performance just simple if i want to go for order number 8 so hashing will directly go to the address of order number 8 so no impact or no sorting does not have any impact at all suppose I am saying we have order number 8 here and we have order number 5 here. We have order number 12 here. We have order number 10 here. Suppose I want to go for order number 8. I want to search order number 8 in hashed internal table. So hashing will directly go to the address of order number 8. If this order number 8 is at this position or is at this position, will any impact on the performance? No impact at all because hashed internal table worked on hash algorithm. So if your record is at 1 lakh position, if your record is at first position, if your record is at 80,000 position, no impact on the performance sorting will not never never impact the performance because it will directly return the address of that particular record. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we covered the two again important points. You should always use insert to insert the records to hashed internal table. Yes, anyways, if you will use append, you will get a syntax error. Next point we covered, sort has no impact on the performance of hashed internal table. So if you are using sort, sort in hashed internal table, that you will get the quick result Result response time will always, always remain same. Once we proceed and come to the next point, we will go for more, more clarity. How response time will not impact on sorting at all. Now, in the next video, we will cover rest of the points and then we will go for full comparison of standard, sorted and hashed. So that's it in this video. Thank you.